What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview and we have the WTA back in action. We've got three events on this week. This is the first event. It's called the Yarra Valley Classic and it's got some big players in it. So let's go to the top quarter of the draw now with Ash Barty getting a buy in the first round as the top 10 seeds do. She'll play the winner in the second round of Bogdan or Rakamova. So Barty, good start for her, especially in front of her home crowd. There will be crowds I expect as well in Melbourne. Then we've got Reina versus Bolsova. The winner of that's going to play another Australian, Sam Stoza, US Open champion from way back when. She's playing the number 16 seed, Buskova. So that's going to be an interesting matchup there. Let's see how Stoza can do. Number 12 seed, Ferro is playing against Rogers, the American. Winner of that's going to play either Peterson or another Australian, the wild card Inglis. Ben Svederer is going to play against Flipkins. Winner of that's going to play the number seven seed, Martich. So not a bad draw for Ash Barty. You look at the top of the draw, she doesn't have much to worry about. She's going to have to take on either the 16th seed, 12th seed, or the seventh seed. And there's no real dangerous unseeded players in that part of the draw for her. So Ash Barty, she's got a good draw. Second quarter of the draw now, we got Pliskova, the number three seed up the top. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll play the winner of the Italian Chocchioretto or another protected ranking, Zoo. So Pliskova should have a good first match there. She shouldn't have too much worries, we hope. Then you've got Sheriff versus Stojanovic. The winner of that's going to play either Bonaventure or the number 13 seed, Collins. Then we've got the number nine seed, Vekic. She'll play the winner of Peronkova or Samson over. So Vekic, she's always known to get upset in some of these tournaments. Then you've got Kuzmova versus Gavrilova. The winner of that's going to play against number five seed Serena Williams. So Pliskova and Vekic, they have a tough draw because they're in the same area as Serena. So we'll see what happens there. But there are some unseated players that could cause some damage. Like I said, Peronkova, she's the tough one. But Pliskova, Vekic, Williams, a lot of big names. Let's go to the bottom half of the draw, the top half of the bottom half. Vondrasova, the number eight seed. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll play the winner of Gracheva or Cabrera, the Australian wildcard. A lot of Aussies in this one, of course, being in Melbourne. Then you've got Zvonareva versus the Pliskova sister. The winner of that's going to play number 10 seed, Zhang, in the second round. Number 14 seed, Podoroska is playing Jones from the UK. Now, we did talk about Jones a little bit. She got through qualifying of the Aussie Open, and she has a really inspirational story behind her. So if you haven't heard about Jones from the UK, you will find out in the next couple of weeks. Winner of that match is going to play the winner of Danilovic and Minin. Then you've got Rus versus Venus Williams, one of the most difficult unseeded players with Venus Williams. Winner of that's going to have to play against number four seed Kvitova. So we could get a Venus Williams, Petra Kvitova second round matchup. That would be insane. But again, this part of the draw, I mean, Kvitova is the standout. There's not too many players besides Williams that I can see going through. Vondrasova, she's not the greatest hardcore player in the world. Podoroska, we haven't seen her much on hardcore. She's a good clay quarter. And Zhang, not 100% sure what to expect from her. So Kvitova has got a pretty good draw. Then the last section of the draw, we have the number six seed, Muguruza. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll play the winner of Sai versus Van Utvank. You've got Sevastova versus Brengel. The winner of that's going to play against Doi. Or the number 11 seed, Pavlichenkova. Then you've got the number 15 seed, Mladenovic versus Bogula in the first round. Winner of that's going to play against Burrell or Barthel in the second round. Then you've got Borrell versus Georgie. Winner of that's going to play against the number second seed, Sophia Kennan. So... Straight away, you probably can realize that if we get the quarterfinals and the seeds get through, we're going to get a replay of the Australian Open final in this quarterfinal, which is going to be insane. Kennan versus Muguruza. But the WTA, it throws up random champions. It throws up upsets all the time. So we're a long way from that quarterfinal matchup. But I hope we get it because I want to see a replay of the Australian Open final last year before the Australian Open this year. So there it is, the draw for the Yarra Valley Classic, a very new tournament. It's a Melbourne tournament, which again... We're going to get used to that. We've got a lot of tournaments on this week. And you've got Kennan. You've got Barty. You've got some of the best players in the world. A lot of the players in this tournament played well at the Australian Open last year as well. So that's very interesting to see. Let me know down in the comments below who you think is going to win this one. I'm torn. I'm thinking maybe it's going to be Barty. She looked really impressive against Halep in the exhibition event in Adelaide. Kennan. She looked good in the start of the year, but did fall apart a little bit against Sakari. I think I might have to go with Kvitova. I know she's the fourth seed. But I just can't see one of those top seeds getting through, especially Barty not playing for 12 months. Kennan, she doesn't seem to do great before a Grand Slam. She plays kind of poor. So I'm going to go with Kvitova. A little bit of an outside pick. So that's the first of many events happening this week in Melbourne. It's got a lot of tennis going on.